Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, the world. Today we are going to take a look at Aries I Spy tarot reading for the month of May. In this reading, we will tap into the energies with the energy oracle. And then we are going to take a look into the situation at hand and how your person is perceiving the situation. Okay, so what is their perception? What are they feeling? What are their intentions and advice moving forward? Okay, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that's resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message. Okay. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that I do here every month for free personal readings, all of the useful, helpful information is going to be linked below in the description box. And if you would like future messages, you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome and it does help set your intentions. So Aries, 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 this same message is coming up for a lot of people here. Um, this... I feel like there's a situation, a storm that's brewing here. Um, and for, I feel like this is having to do with career, with job, how you, how you get money. Okay. Thinking woman talks about making a strategy on how you're going to proceed. I feel like a lot of people, um, this craziness that's going on in the world is kind of making everyone rethink um, how they work or their approach to work. I do feel like you are on the right path here, Aries. Let's get a couple of these soul journey cards. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Relationships. Okay. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So I feel like this financial constraint could affect more than just your job situation. Maybe this is going to have an effect on relationships, on maybe even losing a lot more than just a job. Okay, so let's take a look into these energies of these financial constraints here. Let's use the golden tarot. I'm first going to pull a couple cards here for um, the situation at hand. The intent of this reading is relationships. The financial constraints card has come out for almost every sign I've done so far. I feel like there is kind of a little bit of indecision holding you back. Not wanting to see things clearly. Let's see. Most important message here for Aries Spirit. What does Aries need to see? 
for the month of May. What is the situation that we're going to be seeing here in this reading? Okay. There's a need here to make a, a decision. As far as this financial constraint, I feel like seeking more information. So Googling, working remotely, um, looking into other ways to make money. There's apps nowadays, you know, everything isn't how tr it traditionally used to be. This crossroad that you see you're at, it's It has to do with a lot more than just career, okay? I feel like it has to do, I feel like a lot of things in your life are being restructured right now. Career is probably just the biggest one with all this craziness going on. What is this person's perception here of Aries spirit? Some communication that's going to come in about an ending. Maybe this person wants to reconcile. Um, maybe this is going to bring closure. I feel like this person may view you as um, guarded. Maybe you don't want to talk to them. It's how they're perceiving the situation. And I feel like um, they're maybe making a plan or trying to be strategic about their approach. What is this person feeling here about the situation? They may feel like this. There's been a lot of water under the bridge here. That's what's coming up here. Even though this person has walked away, maybe they're wanting closure on the situation. Because I feel like they're not really putting any energy through or effort into this. This is just more like a conversation. What are their intentions with this conversation, Spirit? What are their intentions here? Maybe trying to release this. Mm -hmm. Clear the confusion. Clear these illusions um, surrounding this. I feel like there may have been, um, like I said, a lot of water under the bridge. They've been waiting for you guys to have this conversation. There may have been some like something toxic that happened between you guys. Um, I feel like they've may have been planning this for a while here. Okay. Um, let's take a look at what they're not saying here. What are they not saying? That's what I'm wondering. What is not being said here, Spirit? What are they not telling Aries? I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. They may not know how to express their love or um, it's hard for them to, it's hard for them to express themselves emotionally. But I feel like there is a lot of love here. There is, um, 
the sense that they want to change, they may not know how. What is the advice here for Aries spirit moving forward? I feel like doing what is best for you, okay? We all have a free will. For some of you, you're going to accept this apology and this is what your wish fulfillment is. Okay. For others of you, you may be focused on your career, your finances, and this wheel has already started turning. It may be hard for you to just accept this person back into your life for some of you after all of the water that has been under the bridge for so long. Because I feel like this isn't something that has, this is something that's already ended in the past. This person is coming back in for closure and maybe even reconciliation. But I don't feel like you're going to be open to this for most of you. Let's get some clarification here. The Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Please and thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. confusion the way this ended was really confusing to them I feel like it caused them to really maybe be guarded maybe not really understand themselves emotionally or not understand where they stand what they want There's a lot of deceptions here, and I really get the sense here that this is ending. Mm -hmm. Even though somebody is going to feel left, someone's going to feel left out in the cold, um, I feel like this ending had to take place in order for healing to start taking place as well. kind of like when you're in a relationship and you stay there because you love the person so you deal with their toxicity but <clears throat> it just keeps creating more issues more issues and it never gets resolved it's eventually going to cause resentment that's how towers happen This may very well be coming up here, Aries, because this person might be able to help you with these financial constraints. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended, we're going to take a look at what are the next steps. I also want to take a look at... Um, What's to be learned from all of this? What's to come? What's coming from this? Right? We'll pull out the guidance cards. We'll, for the blessing, we will pull out the soul truth card for the lesson. If it's something you're interested in, the link will be below. The power thought card that's coming out for you, Aries. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. Each moment of the day is special to me as I follow my higher instincts and listen to my heart. I am at peace with my world and affairs. Beautiful. Aries, so... That is the message I have coming out for you guys for this month. If you want to get in on the extended version of this reading, the link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.